Hey you! Long time no see! Firstly, happy holidays. Um, I hope that the rush up until Christmas, which I know is diabolical in New Zealand and Australia, um, I hope that you're going well, that things are largely under control, that you got your Christmas shopping done, um, that that's all happening. Uh, I've been hibernating. So <laughs> I spent winter um, really looking inward and, and wanting to reinvigorate around this business and retreats and what we're offering and so I thought I would jump on real quick and give you a bit of an update on where things are at and share a little reflection exercise just to like finish off the year nicely, round us out uh, and kind of kick off into the new year. So, so much exciting stuff happening. Um, winter's been a really, really, uh, I hesitate to say productive time, a really creative time for me. So um, a whole bunch of exciting stuff coming particularly around the retreats that I'm super, super stoked to share with you uh, into the new year. But to just give you a little tease of it, um, we're levelling up the equine programs. So um, I have started a PhD with the California Institute of Integral Studies and part of that will be exploring transformational experiences. Uh, horses are part of that. Uh, if you've been on retreat, you know all about our equine programs. We're about to level those up um, in a really significant way. So that's super exciting. And also bringing in a new element, uh, psychedelics. We've got some super cool collaborations coming up in future, so keep an eye out for those. But I think really this is about just leveling up that retreat experience. I'm super, super excited to share all of this with you. And um, what we're about to do is to take both the equine facilitated learning, uh, but also the psychedelic aspect out of therapeutic use and bring it into leadership and learning development, bring it into the mainstream. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be super, super exciting. Um, that's been incubating for a little while. Um, so yeah, we'll share more about that in the new year. But in the interim, I wanted to spend some time today and share with you a little exercise which is all about reflection uh, and, and also seeing into the future a little bit. I thought that could be a really nice way to round out the year. So I learned this from um, a man by the name of Ram Charan, who has an amazing book called The Attacker's Advantage. Uh, it's about turning uncertainty into breakthrough opportunities. And one of the uh, core kind of techniques or principles that he thinks is really important for leaders is to develop what he calls our perceptual acuity. What does he mean by that? Well, what he's talking about is this ability to see round corners. So in a world where we have a whole bunch of ambiguity, how do we build techniques for working with that? Uh, having a crystal ball is great, that's kind of where he's going with this perceptual acuity piece. It's about seeing around the bend. It's about seeing the catalysts for structural, like deep structural change that are coming at you in the business environment and then working out how to respond. So uh, the 10 minute exercise is super easy, super quick. I, I find it super valuable. Uh, and I thought it's something that you could start to incorporate with your teens in the new year. So goes something like this. For every meeting that is one hour or longer, ask a member of your team, take, take the time, take the 10 minutes at the start of every meeting that is more than an hour long, and ask one of your team members to present on something that they're seeing, uh, a catalyst in the environment that they think is going to have that deep structural change. And so working with that ability to identify these incidents, you want your team member to go and do all of their research on what this particular situation might be that's emerging. What is this catalyst that they're seeing? And they're not allowed to talk to other team members. They're not allowed to talk to consultants. Ideally, it's something that's outside of your business and organization and your context, even your industry. Uh, and so this team member goes, spends that time to create the uh, briefing on the situation. And then the 10 minutes at the start of the meeting, it's their role to present that to the team. They give an overview and then the team take that time to sit and digest. What do we think that means? So 
Initially it can be a good idea to start with past events that helps you to build those linkages and those threads and to see what happened as a result of the catalyst. Uh, but you can do this equally with past, present, future kind of looking events. Something that you've picked up in the news. Something that doesn't quite sit right. Get one of your team members to take that time, spend the first 10 minutes within that meeting to dissect that and to try and understand what are those threads? Where's this going? How might we see around some of those bends? How might we understand how this is going to catalyze into something that's bigger, uh, that's, that's heading towards that structural change, right? So we're not just playing around the edges, the really big stuff. Um, we're talking global pandemics, we're talking big shifts in industry, new technologies, those sorts of things. So that's your exercise. Um, really, really great for organizational reflection. Uh, and I've got another exercise for you that's all about personal reflection, um, which you'll also be receiving. So that's a nice little written exercise that goes along. And I thought that would be a really nice way to balance out, round out the year, uh, to spend that time in reflection, to get into the juicy stuff of what have we been doing? It's that natural point to kind of pause and reflect um, and then kick off in the new year with all of the exciting stuff that's coming. So thank you. I wish you all the best for um, the holiday season. And I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you real soon.